today I've been changing the bucket ram seal on my Caterpillar 432E never having done this job before it's been a trial and error watch a few things on YouTube it'll help somebody out let them see how it looks on the inside i just tilt you down to the ram now this is the inside of the piston uh, which is only removable if you make yourself one of these I don't know how much it would cost you from Caterpillar to buy that spanner but about an hour's work and you can make that that fits nicely around the nut that's the head bolt and you can hit this with a hammer and it, it came undone quite easy hopefully it's going to go back together the same way once you've got that off this is what you're left with uh, this is all being cleaned up obviously uh, this on the end was a 46mm socket um, the Newtons is a 1320 but that's got to be talked back up to as yet don't know how I'm going to do that and you see I can undo that once you've got that off of there that comes away very easy there's no seals inside it I'll remove that to show you nice and clean that's the way it's got to go back these two seals are, went on very easy to replace this is actually a new part I'll show you why that's had to be replaced with that piston head removed this section here slides off quite easy as you can see these are all the old seals that I've replaced take them off in order lay them out put the new ones back in exactly the same way these are the seals off the outside same again make sure everything's clean put it back together This will be the final test, see if I can get this done back up to what it's got to be. I don't have problems, I think, to be honest. But that is the inside of the cylinder. Um, this is the reason why I've had to change it. You can see this big split around the piston head. And that was making the back of the bucket curl on its own. And that's probably me being a bit rough with the bucket trying to clean it out and stuff as you can see and the whole job if I'd have had all the parts there ready and waiting I think you'd have done it in an hour um, obviously I'll put it all back together now I've got a 100 mile trip to go and put it back in the digger um, let's hope it all goes to plan it's as easy as that thank you very much